Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder with TalkTechBoy.com and we're here today with the solution for the homework that I gave you in lesson number five. What I'm going to need you to do is pour yourself a nice, enormous mug of iced coffee. That is straight up black coffee, poured over ice, no sugar, no sweeteners, none needed. And as you're getting out your coffee, as always, I want to give a shout out to you guys who are helping me out over at Patreon. It is your support and your encouragement that keeps this great content coming. You guys that are not helping out yet, look down in the description. There is a link over to my Patreon account. Think about hopping on over there and hooking a brother up. But enough of this shameless self-promotion. Let's jump in and let's talk about what we are going to do today. Now, last week, we uh, lesson number five, I thought was really an epic lesson. And that is where we learned how to install OpenCV and then launch a webcam and go out and grab a frame from the webcam and show the frame. Grab a frame, show a frame, grab a frame, show a frame. We have a what? It's called a movie. And so we learned how to do that in OpenCV. Then what I did was I showed you a couple of commands to operate the camera, operate the display window, and even how to convert an image from a color movie to a black and white movie. And then I do believe what your assignment was, was to create four video windows where you had the color version of the image, and then the black and white version of the image, and then the color version of the image, and the black and white version of the image to create four windows where you're showing two color images and two black and white images, two color movies, two black and white movies. Now, how many of you guys were able to do it? If you were able to do it, leave a comment down below saying, I am legend. If you were not able to do it, leave a comment that you fold it up like a cheap Walmart lawn chair. Are you legend or did you fold up like a cheap Walmart lawn chair? Anyway, what we are going to do is we are going to have me come over here and I'm going to fire up the most excellent Visual Studio code and we're going to code this thing up. Okay, sometimes we don't want to just go back and redo the code that I already did in lesson number five. And so I posted that code for you at the most excellent www.toptechboy.com. And if you go there and if you use this happy little search box, Bar and this happy little search this site you can't see that can you because my big noggins in your way I'm sorry so you are going to search here in this happy little search bar you are going to search on uh, you're going to search on launch a Windows web camera something like that search that and then you should come to this most excellent lesson and then you can see here that I have the 10 lines of code that you need in order to launch the webcam we're just going to start there rather than having to type those things in again and you can see you just hit the little double page emblem and then you can come over right mouse click and copy and now we will go back to the most excellent visual studio code and then we'll come up to our working folder which is python and then i'm going to click this little plus sign and then what am i going to do there i don't like the looks of that it was like it tried to put it inside of my virtual environment stop that Okay, let's try again. I click down there. I hit plus. Okay, I think that it's just going to put it in the right place. We'll pay attention to it. It looked like it was putting it under the VPython videos. Okay, so we're going to call this OpenCV-2.py. The .py is kind of important. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right mouse click and I am going to say paste. And now we're square dab back right in the middle of where we were last week but just to be safe i am going to run this program to make sure that we didn't break anything with all of this crazy copying and pasting okay i don't know why on windows i have like a blindingly fast windows machine and i don't know why it takes so long 
I don't know why it takes so long to launch. Okay, we put the cursor over the window, hit Q to quit out of this, and that just confirms that we have launched a window, or that we have launched the camera and are able to display a, a, a video. Okay, now what do we want? We want to create four windows, two black and white and two color. So I hope, <laughs> Please tell me that you were not that guy that went out and grabbed four frames, okay? Grab four pictures. To do this assignment, how many images do we have to capture from the camera? One, okay? It is the one image frame. You don't have to go out and get four frames. You can get one frame and you can show that one frame in multiple windows. Now this frame we're actually going to show in two windows and then we're going to create a gray frame and we're going to we're going to show that gray frame in two windows. So let's go ahead now. We've got frame from the camera. Now let's go back and we did this last week so you know, should know how to do this. I'm going to create a gray and gray is going to be equal to cv2.cvt color. And then what are we going to convert? We're going to convert frame, which right now is a BGR blue, green, red image. We're going to convert frame using cv2, cv2.color underscore. And then where are we going? BGR2 gray. I glance over there to make sure that my head's not in your way, but I think you can see that, okay? So now we have how many frames? We have two frames. We have a gray frame and we have a uh, BGR frame. Let's go ahead and show those two frames. And then I just want to make sure that uh, I want to make sure that the program's working like what I thought. And so we're, we're showing already the color image frame. And then what we're doing is we're moving frame to the zero, zero position. And what I've got to tell you is, is that in this command, it's sort of like X comma Y. X is this way and Y is this way. Now positive X is like you would normally expect positive X to be, but the thing that might be a little surprising is, is that positive Y is going down. Normally if you're doing real math, Y goes up, but here Y goes down. And also the upper left of your screen, the upper left of your screen is the point zero, zero. And so we are going to, and I'll kind of say this several times so that that, so that you really understand it. So we're taking this window, my webcam, we're taking that window and we're moving it to the zero, zero position. And so the zero, zero position, the first zero is X, moves it all the way to the left, and the second zero is Y, moves it all the way to the top. So this puts the my webcam window in the upper left. Now let's go ahead and show our first gray window. So I'm just going to snag these two lines of code and then just modify them. So I'm going to control V to paste them. And then I'm going to come over and be mindful of my tabbing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to say CV2 I am show, not my webcam, but we're going to say gray frame. We're going to show my gray frame. And then which image do we want to show there? We are going to show gray. Can you guys see this okay? I hate to get halfway through the lesson, but I'm going to make it a little bigger just to make sure that you can see this. Some of you guys might have a smaller screen. So now we, we're, we're going to show the gray, but I don't want to put the gray frame on top of the other frame, so I need to move it where? I need to move it over. I need to move it to the right. And so instead of zero, zero, uh, I'm going to move the first zero, the X value, I'm going to move it over 640. Why? Because our image, or at least my image, is about 640 wide and 480 tall. And that's sort of like what my Logitech is putting out. You guys might have had to do it by trial and error, but I knew that the Logitech, if you don't set parameters, it's just going to give you a 640 by 480. 640 pixels wide, 480 pixels tall. So I want to move this over where it's not on top of the first one. So I will move it over to the right by 640. That is an X value and we will run this program just with two windows just to make sure that everything is okay. 
And I'm still I'm still perplexed why it takes so long. You know, I do a lot of this. Oh, oh my goodness, that does not look right. What did we do wrong here? Okay, what did we do wrong? I'm going to quit out of that. Uh, yes, I moved. Uh, I did a move window. I hope you guys were yelling at me. I moved uh, my webcam window instead of my gray frame. And so the reason it was in a strange position is it was probably bouncing back and forth faster than we could see it. So I'm going to move my gray frame. Okay. So my webcam is moved to zero, zero. My gray frame is moved to 64480. Let's hope it worked. That kind of scared me when I saw that because I thought something's wrong. Okay, so something's wrong. But I think we'll get it figured out here. I think it's going to work right now. We'll just enjoy a few sips of coffee here while this is Okay, boom. Who's your huckleberry? Yeah, look at that. I have a color image and I have a black and white image of the old Top Tech boy. Okay, so we're going to quit out of that. Okay, hopefully you guys had as uh, much luck as I did. Now we need to create two more windows. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that mistake I just made. And now I'm going to create two more windows and move them two more times. Now what you've got to see is I don't need to create another frame. I don't need to create another gray frame. I'm just going to take this frame and show it in a different window. And I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to show it in a different window. Please tell me that you are not the guy that created another frame, you know, created another image, two more images. No, all we need is two images and we display each one two times. So we have a total of four windows, but I'm going to snag those things and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste them. And then I am, whoa, I didn't undo, undo. Okay. I'm going to get all four of those copy. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste. All right. And now I need a third window. So I'm going to call that my webcam two and then my webcam two and then my gray frame two and my gray frame two. Now we just got to adjust this uh, webcam is still frame and then uh, frame is still uh, gray frame is still gray. And so all those are good. But now we have just got to adjust this. Now, what did I want? I wanted, uh, let's see, I have my frame at zero, zero in the upper left. So I want this one in the lower right. Okay, I want this color frame in the lower right. So I need to go to the right by how much? I need to go to the right by 640. That's how wide my frame is. And then I need to go down by how much? I need to go down by 480. Okay. And then on the second gray one, I just want it below the first one. I want to come straight down with it. And since I want to come straight down with it, I don't change X at all. X is going to be zero. And then I am going to go, uh, yeah, X is, X is going to be zero and I'm going to come down by 480. Okay. And so you really need to look at this 00, 640, 0, 644, 480. You've really got to understand that because kind of the purpose of this homework is to get you acclimated to the screen to kind of know that X goes this way. When you go towards the right, that's moving in the positive X. Y goes this way as you move down, that's moving in the positive Y direction in this crazy scheme that OpenCV uses. So now this should create four windows and they should sort of be color, color, black and white, black and white in a pattern like that. So let's try this. Have myself a little coffee. And that tense moment as you're waiting for your program to run. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Hello. Four of me. Okay. And again, my webcam is a little bit choppy because I am sucking all the resources out of my computer uh, running my studio, uh, running my studio software. So your webcam should be working a lot better than that. But look at that. We have four video screens. 
Okay, guys, I hope you had luck with this. Let me know if you had luck. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up of something that like one of the biggest things that you have to understand when you're doing these programs is to understand that some commands are given in X and Y. X is this way, Y is this way. Positive X is to the right, positive Y is down. Okay, that's simple enough because from all of our math that we ever did, it's always X and Y, X comma Y. X comes first, Y comes second. The only difference, and Y is always up and down, or the tradition is it's up and down. And, uh, but here, Y, positive Y is down. Okay, if that's all it was, it'd be simple enough to remember. But that's not all it is. Sometimes, sometimes OpenCV wants X and Y, and sometimes it wants rows and columns. Now, this is the tricky thing. How do the rows go? This is like row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven, row eight. Rows go up and down. Columns come left and right, okay? Rows are like Y's and columns are like X's, okay? But, but the convention when doing matrices, when you're giving a coordinate in matrices is you give the row value, comma, the column value. <laughs> so if it wants the matrix notation of row column, it is row, comma, column. If it wants X and Y, it is X, comma, Y. What is, the, what is the confusing thing? Rows are like Y and columns are like X. So on the commands in OpenCV that want X and Y, you just put X comma Y. But in the, in, the common, in, the, in the parameters that want the matrix notation, you put row comma column, which is sort of like Y comma X. Okay, so... One of the things we'll have to keep track of as we are doing these things, one of the things that we're going to have to keep track of is we're going to have to keep track of the difference between the commands that want row, comma, column and the commands that want X, comma, Y. And usually it's really obvious when you get it wrong because your box is out of proportion or in a crazy place or something like that. If that happens, always check and see if you confused X comma Y with row comma column. Okay, so this has been a lot of fun. What we're going to do next week, this was a homework solution week, so you don't have homework, just play around with this a little bit more, get comfortable with it. And then in our next lesson, what the next lesson is going to be is I'm going to help you out kind of being able to set your camera parameters. And so when we just do it like I did it here, what you end up doing is just launching the camera with the default uh, settings. And what I want to show you is how you can go in and kind of set things more specifically. And I think maybe some of you guys struggled a little bit because you just fired it off with the default settings and your window was too big to really stack four windows together. And so that would have created a little bit of a problem. It looked like a couple of you guys in the comments might have figured out that you could resize your window or that you could set the camera to a smaller size. And those are the things that we're going to talk about next week as to how to start tweaking the parameters on your camera to get it to grab frames a little bit more specifically like what you would have. Okay, guys, you always want to have a secret word so you can let me know if you've actually watched the end of the video. And if you put the secret word in, you might just get a little heart from me on your comment, show you a little love if you know what I mean. So we will come down here and the secret word for today is vanilla plantation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in a Amongst my banana trees, I have planted vanilla vines, and you can see that this bad boy is crawling up that stem there. And so my vanilla vines are about 20 feet, and I am anxiously awaiting the day that we get a little bloom and start getting some vanilla beans on these things. But I've been nursing these things for some quite some time. The bananas are showing or doing just really exceptional, producing a lot of bananas. Hope to one day in the not too distant future start getting some vanilla beans. Okay, guys, really appreciate you tuning in. Hope 
hopefully you're having as much fun taking these lessons as I'm having making them. Uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Also, leave a comment. Put your secret word in, Vanilla Plantation. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. When you do, make sure you ring that bell so that you get notifications when the new videos come out. Again, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.